Maridandi kabisa mtazamaji kumbuka unaweza ukafuatilia matangazo haya kupitia tovuti yetu Maridandi kabisa ya www.kbc.co.ke ama pia kupitia mitandao yetu ya kijamii kwenye Facebook, Twitter na vile vile YouTube. Jina langu Ben Chumba. Nami mtazamaji ni Sarafina Robi mwenzetu wa ishara ni Lensa Odingo. Tukianza ni kwa baraza la magavana sasa linadai kwamba limechangia pakubwa katika kupungua kwa visa vya maambukizi ya COVID-19 humo nchini. Magavana hao wamesema kuwa matu mizi ya teknolojia na ubunifu katika utoaji huduma za afya zimeisaidia kaunti katika kuwatibu wagonjwa upimaji na kuwatafuta wale waliotangamana na wagonjwa Purity Musiwa na taarifu zaidi Kenya iliripoti kisa cha kwanza cha maambukizi ya virusi vya corona mwezi Machi mwaka 2020 na licha ya wasiwasi wanasayansi wa viwango vya kitaifa na kaunti walijitahidi kutafuta suluhu kwa ugonjwa uliosababisha vifo vya hata wataalamu wakuu wa afya nchini na miaka miwili baadaye baraza la magavana linabainisha ufanisi wa mbinu bora zilizotekelezwa na kaunti kukabiliana na janga la covid-19 the compendium we are we are today launching uh, contain a combination of innovations innovative measures taken by the county government and in dealing with the pandemic katika kujiandaa kukabiliana na ongezeko la visa vya maambukizi ya COVID-19, kaunti ya Machakos kwa mfano iligeuza uwanja wa Kenyatta kuwa hospitali ya muda ya upimaji kwa wingi na kuwatenga na kutibu maambukizi hafifu ya ugonjwa huo. Na mwezi Aprili mwaka 2021, kaunti ya Kericho ilianza kutumia teknolojia ya mnururisho kupima COVID-19 na kuanzisha matibabu kwa wakati ufao. County government have had to think on their feet and generate solutions to manage the spread of COVID-19 and the impact of the virus on population. In Yadara County, for instance, we have already registered 30,000. 30,000 are called indigents, uh, people who are most, most vulnerable. And of course, we are moving to the general populations so that they all get into Baraza la magavana sasa linaitaka sekta ya afya itumie huduma za matibabu za kidijitali ili kuafikia mpango wa huduma za matibabu kwa wote likisema kuwa teknolojia hiyo imefanikiwa katika kukabiliana na janga la COVID-19. It is very difficult to be treated today in Kenya. Uh, and I'm hoping that's something that will be looked into. Even the treatment in private hospitals must be brought down. We are, we are overcharging our people, a small operation, a million shillings. It, it is not sustainable. Healthcare is a right to the people of Kenya. So it's a program that is endless. It has to continue. It has to, to be successful. Purity Museo Darubini.